Hi everyone, there's some skill busters. And let's get a rest in peace for the beetle. It served us well, but the glitch has been patched. Almost. We're back with another tiny car, the Mazda Demio. And this is going to help us get 2.3 million credits an hour around Mount Panorama. It's going to take us round in under 11 minutes as possible as guys on GT Planet have done this and give us just under 420k. So let's go through what you need to do this. First of all, you're going to buy the Mazda Demio. Take it to the tuning shop and get the weight. First of all, weight reduction one, comfort hard tires. Weight reduction stage two, power restrictor, close ratio transmission and the ballast. Next up, racing crankshaft, fully customizable computer, high RPM turbo charger and fully customizable LSD. Engine balance tuning, Racing intercooler, racing air filler, racing silencer, racing exhaust manifold, brake pads, brake controller, fully customised suspension, racing clutch and fully customisable racing transmission and racing soft tyres. Get the nitrous and carbon ceramic brakes, racing brakes will do if you want to want them. And finally, titanium connecting rods and pistons. Right, onto the tune, dead important this bit. We're going to have two tunes, so first one's going to be have comfort hard tyres, normal suspension, fully customisable differential, downforce is set to zero at the front, 150 at the back, ECU still on but is set to 70, ballast is set to 200 and at minus 14, power stretcher set to 70. That transmission, that close ratio low, that's what you want on the transmission. Nitrous, doesn't matter if it's on or off. Turbocharger is set to normal. Anti-lag is on, set to strong. Normal intercooler, normal everything else. Every, everything that you can set to normal after that is set to normal. You can't do anything about the other tunes, but the idea is we're below 200 pp. You're then gonna make another tuning sheet so I've called a min max and you're going to do this to the maximum one so racing soft tyres fully customizable uh, suspension and it's got these settings so 110 at the front 105 at the back 3 at the front 10 at the rear 20 on the compression ratio 40 on the rear expansion is 50 40 natural frequency is 3 3.15 negative camber is 3 on both toes 0 on the front 0.2 on the back fully customizable limited slip diff set to 595 five. downforce 100 and 129 on the rear fully customizable ECU set to 100 no ballast nothing on the power restrictor fully customizable racing transmission set it to 320 and then manually adjust the final to 3.99 and then adjust all the ratios to this so 3.86 300 248 198 147 and 95 nitrous set it to 100 and then you've got the high rpm turbocharger anti-like set it to strong racing intercooler racing everything air cleaner silencer exhaust Carbon brakes or racing brakes, racing pads, brake controller if you need to change it, and then the racing clutch. And that is the tune. And just in case you haven't got a tune for the Tomahawk, just go to its settings, go to the gears, set it to 500, bring the final right over, and then just set first to 64, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all to 64. If you have them lower, because it will let you, some gears go lower, you'll find that the cars all stop and reverse at the start, so you don't want to be doing that. Reet, let's get into the glitch. So, for this to work, you're going to have to have the circuit experience of Mount Panorama, gold, 
and that'll get you the 400% bonus. And you can all want to set your Demio to the minimum setting. So if you go into one of the races to change the settings for your car, say it's at the minimum 190 pp, anything below 200 is fine. Go over to custom race, I'll show you the settings for the race. So you want 5 laps, you want a number of cars to be 20. Starting grid, you want to put yourself 20th, you want a rolling start. Don't change the rolling start interval like I did, otherwise you end up with loads of cars bunched together. Nitrous multiplier set to 10. And then in the rival settings, you want to select from garage, set them all to the Tomahawk, and then you want to change the difficulty to professional level. I also, as an added little thing for myself, set the penalties to one so if i got something wrong and i'm not going to get the clean race bonus in the race i could see it straight away come out of the race go back in i'm not wasting my time so you go into the race with the 190 pp settings go to car settings change it to your max settings get up to that 600 game doesn't know that you've changed it still gives you the the payout look at that I'll just walk you through the start and then walk you through a lap and then you're up and away. So at the start they're all going to be bunched up so pull over to the left, nos on straight away, get down to that first corner, make sure you don't just smash into someone at the start, that'll take your clean race bonus straight away and then you just want to get ahead of them all as soon as you can. So nose full down, for some reason even though you've set the gears to dead low, the pickup speed on the straights but they will slam on the brakes for the corners so you just need to be wary of them like this just get round them and then you don't need to worry about them till like lap four do it all again get round them right i'll show you the fastest lap i did so final corner just bringing it round nice and easy making sure not to get on the nose too early to make it understeer down to the first corner well i'll be nice and hard on the brakes breaking around the 100 meter mark Turn in, turn in, turn in. Don't get on the power till you're definitely out onto the apex. And then just nose all the way down. You're going to want to break at the 150 metre mark for the sharp corner. The car actually turns really well. So when you're into the corners, it's fine. It's quite nice to drive. Just don't accelerate out too, too early. Getting on the nose when you're comfortably out of the corner. Just letting off, letting off the gas to get around this corner and then for the hairpin, heavy on the brakes. Take it in, careful with the wheel spin on the way out again, avoiding the nos. Nos on the straight, letting the car coast around. On the, on the power again. And it's just about controlling the understeer with the power through here. Just letting it coast around and then when you know you're out, nos. This is the only tricky corner for me. So break before you get in, break again before e well, before each corner on that bit. Break it again there and then you're gonna go flat out all the way down, braking just as you come through the left hander. Keeping to the right, hitting the brakes heavy and hard again. Letting the car roll around and then you're just gonna floor it all the way down. I found that if you change up gears before it gets to the, when it indicates for you to change gear when it's red you can go faster don't ask me why it's just it must be the way the, the nose works increases the torque so braking as you come over the right hand bend at the end brakes 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 just letting the car roll around the corner again be careful with the nose because it will push you out wide with understeer coming down to the last corner 100 meter mark heavy on the brakes nice easy corner let it roll round floor it again and that's all folks so yeah we've got another couple of days of worth of glitches it's not five million an hour but you know it's better than uh, the current best without uh, well the Escudo round Tokyo or the Nissan Skyline which is 2.2 million an hour so this is like proper maxing it out and it's a different track for once there you go folks, that's everything. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, We've got plenty more coming and we'll see you all next time. Adios.